This is a guy who's going to be tough to beat. Two-time All-American, Evan Wick. Evan Wick out of Murrieta, California, San Marino High School. Two-time California State place winner. Third as a freshman. Fourth last year at the NCAA Championships. Was fourth at the Big Tens. Comes in 21-3. and three. And quickly, a leg attack from the Badger. Reese Hughes gets the call today for Michigan. He comes in two and six. In limited action for the Wolverines. Climbing up is Wick out in front 2-0. Like what I saw there from Wick, he normally tries to attack the left leg and he went to the other leg, other side, kind of a little sweeping shot, took what was there. The leg that was left behind. Over the shoulder, or over the shoulder. You know, he's, he's always been tough in the top position, but I, I almost venture to say he's probably got fewer near falls this season because he finds himself in fewer scrambles. He was a guy that, that scored a lot off of other people's shots, and when you become good like he is, you know, you got fewer people that, that, that shoot on you and, and uh, you know, take those wasted shots, and the people who the are edge. getting Work to your legs edge. are pretty darn good at finishing, you know, these top-tier guys, so... Uh, it just shows you how you always got to be about, uh, you know, basically Don't evolving your style. Again, he's a guy that likes to shoot to that left leg. He takes the other one. You see that? Wait for me. Wait for me, Red. I'll call you on. Nice job with the finish then. He just switches off with his reach. He can get to the far side pretty easily. He's great with the cradle, of course. Oftentimes slides a leg in, crunches a guy up. Well, that's where you go out there, you can tell Hughes, hey, watch the, the left, the shot to your left leg, okay? What was he doing? He was moving his left leg. He was doing what the coach to, you know, may have told him. And he, you know, gathered up the one that was behind and, and nice finish. Still you red, one green neutral. He neutral also qualified center. for Working the, the Olympic trials in State College early April. Senior Nationals, yeah, another that, shot. Yeah, Don't that's the leg he likes to shoot too, right? Good, solid finish again. Second take down to the match makes it four to one. Still you red, center neutral, neutral. Already with 100 career victories in a Badger singlet. You see the rankings across the bottom. Joseph Marinelli, Wick, White, one, two, three, four in the Big Ten. Inside of the minutes. A little fake and go right there. Wrestle through that. Wrestle on the edge. Wrestle on the edge. Stop, stalemate neutral. Stalemates. I think Nick Rosso, the official there, did a nice job. He's telling these guys, keep your, keep going, all right? Don't get locked up and expect me to get you out of every position. Fingers, and then when he did, didn't see much movement, he, then he made the, the, uh, the call. He was out of Bright, Michigan, Heartland High School. Three-time state place winner, won a state title as a junior. He trails Work it by center. two late in this first period. Wick has three losses this season to the aforementioned Marinelli, most recently Joseph. A loss sandwiched in between those two to David McFadden of Virginia Tech. That was at the Midlands. So he's attacked both sides of the body, collected a Green minute, first. 16 of riding time. Green, where are we going? Green's going bottom. It looked Green's like he was right there, initially picked neutral, but he's going to go on bottom. And with riding time already over a minute, goes without saying it'll be critical for Hughes to get out quick against a guy like Wick. Looking to put that left leg in or right leg in. Looks like he's getting his hips up over the top. Likes to work with that ball and chain type technique, but you know, it's gonna be difficult to go ahead and do that because the right shoulder of Hughes got it up underneath that inner part of the thigh, up right behind the knee. So again, it's, it's, it's a good ride situation, but it's, it's kind of a time waster as far as maybe taking him to his back. Riding time approaching two minutes. Here in the second period. Stop, guys, stalemate. So, situation right there, Jim. I mean, if you're Hughes, you're trying to 
just well, escape, or what's the situation there? Well, I did. I, I same good start. Obviously, he wants to try to win Bottom the match if it's you know given to you, but, but you've got to be you got to anticipate that. Keep those pockets closed right there. He did a nice job of switching into it, but then he left the pocket open for that leg to come in. When, a lot of times, what you can do is you can anticipate that leg coming in and switch into it. I like us. I like a, some sort of movement off of the whistle when you know you're going up against a good leg wrestler that that you either have some sort of rotating action like a switch uh, just not not the fact that you're going to get the switch but you get him get yourself moving you can become a moving target so maybe he misses with that leg when he commits with that leg coming in he might miss with it and it creates a scramble situation so I like to switch off the whistle against leg wrestlers mainly because it pivots you it, it moves you maybe from 12 o'clock to four o'clock Wick with the right leg in. Again, just a lot of pressure with his hips. This is really showing a lot of flexibility with that right knee. He's getting hand fighting in there. Going to get him off of his foot. Right there, see that switch? <laughs> Coachable. <laughs> oh, he could hear you. Right, jumps right back in on a shot. Gets his coaching staff off their chairs there. They like what they saw there, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. When you switch into those leg riders here, you've got an opportunity to create a better scramble. Riding time already locked up for Wick. So essentially a five to three match. And an escape for the Badger, increases his lead here in this third period. Evan Wick looking for his 22nd win this season. Wow, oh, good ankle. Yeah, yeah, got right there on it. It's, now he's got his feet moving a little bit. But with the reach of Wick, he's really difficult to, it's the type of guy you, when you take him down, gotta get him almost up in the air because he's gonna you know, live with all this. Break guys, break easy. Easy off. Flows over the top. Take a look at the, Ankle pick right there comes up, but you can't stay shoelaces flat. He's not doing that. He's getting himself moving, but with the range of Wick coming over the top, it's difficult guy to finish on. It's got to almost be boom, boom. He showed him that ankle pick a couple times now. I expect Wick to anticipate that, get around behind him. Shows it one more time. Of course, coming up at heavyweight, Mason Paris and Trent Hilger. Center. Right there, see, see how he anticipated at that time, Shane. He's just, you can feel him coming. He's not gonna, he's good enough wrestler. He's not gonna give you three swipes at it, but there's the third. This is where Wick, again, with that length, flexibility. Yeah. He's just a unique frame in this sport. Yeah, and he just gave up two takedown there. That's, you got to be pretty pleased with what you're seeing out of Hughes in this situation. Well, you feel like Wick and really has dominated the match, but it's a one-point match. Now he's going to give him the escape. He'll need a takedown and a ride out to force sudden victory because Wick's got that riding time point locked up. There's a stall call on Wick, not the finish that he wanted here in this third period. Certainly. You know, a guy that went out there and got a couple takedowns. I think he kept his feet in, so he's going to get another takedown to close it out. Yeah, sometimes you're thinking so much about Wait offense, Shane, is it that you uh, you, know, you forget that the guy's diving in on your legs, and, and uh, you're thinking about your shot a little bit more than you are thinking about, uh, you know, what the guy's doing. And Hughes just beat him to the punch several times, but it kept it to a regular decision. And that's one of the keys that we had here to steal one and then maybe eliminate the bonus points here at 65, and they've done that. Good effort by Reese Hughes of Michigan. But the two-time All-American Evan Wick with the riding time with the decision 9-5 final here at 165.